Ndi jenenge putrane Panjang An my friend di family and two children eh two and two two son okay in the world you live here yeah hmm. <laughs> like you stay in stan tv <laughs> <laughs> Hold. Oh, hang on, low. Sorry. I am. You went to hang low. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Feature sound in winter. <laughs> I listen to I listen to both the recordings again. Yeah, sir. Oh, yeah, I couldn't sleep. Woke up at six. Then playing. Maybe we could cut out something. a new member of the band <laughs> <laughs> Cukup untuk klub. Suka, suka. Tidak. You like? Tidak. Bandung, saya di Bandung pun saya tidak tahu. He knows the camera is rolling, is denial. No, I don't like. I don't like. No. It's great. It's. Sekarang tahu. Tahu. Wah. Tidak tahu. Telefon. Mohon.
Look at the sky. It's so dark. Look at death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we left and I was really desperate. We were in Nepal and we were to find our tenants on the internet every day. And the only person that came was this Erasmus from Belgium. Belgium. My god, Martha just went back to the house last week. She had rats. Den Haag ya, and kolaborasi and Jimot and Taku, yes. Hey guys. <laughs> Then how cold? It's colder than Amsterdam. And cold than Hag. You still want to move here? What? You still want to move here? I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to live in Holland? Holland? So it's here, but did they say which exit? Holland, to good. We get from the side. See me? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should go to the side. Yeah, thank you. Where's this one? Yes. Uh, 
Jam berapa kita main? What time? We play mah? Eh, nani? Eh, tapi. Tapi ya? Hah? Ya dia lagi nyari uang. Ya, sudah. Kalau dia dapat langsung nyari kamu. Dia ni dia datang, dia datang itu langsung itu, jadi enggak ada kerjaan ni. Sama dia sama lima bulan. Questions. So, again. okay. Uh, to uh, Jimbo and uh, Utia, can you tell me how how it's been playing in Holland? Di Belanda, uh, selama di Belanda main di Belanda, gimana perasaannya? Oke, okay, uh, saya selama main di Holland ya di Belanda. Uh, selama ini mungkin ketiga kali konser dan sekarang mungkin empat kali konser. Rasanya ya luar biasa, terus uh, sambutan dan antusias audien, terus saya sendiri merasa wow bisa ketemu seniman-seniman kontemporer dan eksperimental itu sangat wow luar biasa dan ini bagus sekali menurut saya. Playing in Holland has been really fantastic. It's been great. This is the fourth uh, time that he plays there. He's performing tonight, and he thinks that it's uh, it's such an amazing experience, especially meeting all the artists, the contemporary artists, and meeting the audience. And the atmosphere is just fabulous. Cuman, mungkin sedikit ada ya kendala teknik seperti itu gitu. Uh, mungkin sekarang musim lagi musim dingin. <laughs> Terus keduanya. Uh, sedikit ada ke teknik masalah kendala sound system yang mungkin sound bagus tapi making yang mungkin solmen yang itunya gitu jadi ada sesuatu yang karena saya membawakan main tradisi kecapi dan kendang itu uh, mungkin itu sedikit itu. tapi kalau keseluruhan wow bagus okay. Um, in in general, it's uh, it's 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 really good. Except there are some technical difficulties with the sound because he plays uh, traditional um, instruments. So sometimes the sound the sound is not so good. So uh, but in general, it, it went it goes smoothly. And it's winter time now, so <laughs> there's some minus. <laughs> uh, bagus ada. Uh, ada suasana yang ber- berbeda yang jelas ada uh, suasana yang berbeda ketika saya berinteraksi dengan audiens di lain di 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 lain tempat maksudnya di sini juga dan di lain kota juga di sini ah uh, beda beda okay. um, he's saying that uh, for him the experience has been uh, diverse In every city where he played, uh, the interaction with between him and the audience has been different. So every city has its own uh, character and flavor, and that's been quite uh, interesting for him. Bisa tolong jelaskan ininya apa alat pemainnya tuh apa aja? Oke, yang saya bawa alat instrumen itu ada empat macam. Empat instrumen, satu kendang, drum, terus kedua kecapi, uh, sitar ya, kecapi dan uh, kecapi semacam gitar, kecapi, terus uh, gamelan, gamelan, gamelan bonang, itu itu gamelan uh, secara keseluruhan lengkap gitu banyak gitu, tapi kita ambil satu alat instrumen dari gamelan keseluruhan orkestra bonang dan uh, satu lagi suling dan rebab rebab lima instrumen lima instrumen suling uh, dan rebab uh, kendang 
Capi dan Bonang yang saya bawa dan coba untuk eksperimental. Gesek. Oh yang gesek ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he has he brought with him five instruments. So one of them is uh, called Bonang. That's like the gamulan instrument, the the you know the golden uh, uh, pieces, uh, but only the gamulan part. And and yeah, so it's just one part of the gamulan uh, instrument. And the other one is uh, a flute from bamboo, like bamboo flutes. He has two of those. And the other one is called uh, kachapi, which is like harp, but it's like uh, on the floor. And the other one is like drums, like a drum set. And the other one is called uh, rabab, and that's like uh, it's like a violin, yeah, but also like on the on the ground, yeah. cara main uh, instrumen ini uh, apakah itu apa uh, 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 unik uh, cara mainnya atau gimana Tra- tradisional apa modern gimana cara mainnya uh, cara mainnya sih uh, ada dua unsur hmm. dua unsur karena because uh, karena saya basic dari tradisional dan ada teknik teknik dari tradisional dan coba dikembangkan dengan eks- eksperimental gitu mencoba mengikuti apa yang ada dalam isi hati saya terus kadang berbeda gitu berbeda dengan pakemnya sendiri kadang keluar dari pakemnya sendiri itu tapi ada 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 sedikit memang banyak juga teknik-teknik dari uh, tradisionalnya sendiri hmm. yang sering digunakan itu saya campur adukan itu okay. di di okay. dicoba gitu um, he combines both traditional methods and uh, uh, modern ones you can say So he plays from the heart. So he plays traditionally, but he he likes to uh, combine that with the uh, yeah with the modern sounds. So that's how that's how he does it. And uh, Wukir, gimana main instrumennya kayak gimana? Namanya apa aja? Apa aja instrumennya? Oh, uh, uh, saya memainkan instrumen. Jadi uh, uh, ini instrumen kesekian kalinya saya buat. Yang instrumen ini adalah Uh, dia semua inspirasinya itu inspirasinya dari musik tradisional dari instrumen tradisional terus saya um, modifik modifikat modifikasi kalau Indonesia modifikat modifikasi yang uh, semuanya idenya itu memang berangkat dari uh, instrumen tradisional okay. terus secara bentuk saya modifikasi terus Uh, saya modifikasi saya coba menyatukan uh, menjadikan satu menjadikan satu bukan menyatukan tapi menjadikan satu uh, antara ada string dan ada perkusi uh, terus uh, di jadi modifikasi instrumen ini di kepala instrumen itu ada semacam uh, apa ya bukan simbol tapi uh, ada semacam sim, uh, ada simbol tentang bambu runcing uh, mungkin itu bisa uh, kenapa kok sarap kenapa kok runcing mungkin kita bisa lihat tentang histori tentang Indonesia tentang sarap itu bambu runcing jadi uh, ini aku mainin namanya instrumennya bambu ukir jadi bambunya dari bambu material ukir nama saya terus uh, instrumen ini saya proses lima tahun yang lalu setahun saya uh, setahun Saya pas membuatnya setahun sekitar saya mengalami 8 atau 7, 7 kali gagal dan ini instrumen yang ke-9 ya. Ke-9 atau ke-10 gitu. But, tapi di, sebelum instrumen ini aku juga be- bikin beberapa instrumen yang lain sekitar 20 lebih. Nah. Okay, so he uh, he he he's called Wukir and his instrument is called Bambu Wukir because he made that himself. It's made out of bamboo, and this is like uh, his fifth, yang kelima ya, yang kelima instrumennya. It's like he, it's like yang oh okay. He has made like so many of these instruments, so this is like the twentieth maybe. It's made out of bamboo, and he 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 he, he combines uh, a string, apa uh, sih string sama apa lagi? And percussion. And then he makes that he tries to you know combine that into like one one piece, 
And at the top of the instrument, it's like a sharp, uh, sharp part that is to show like like the history of uh, of uh, Indonesia, like the bamboo history. And um, yeah, so he he plays that, and it's a traditional. It's it's based out of a traditional instrument, and he he takes that, uh, but he 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 makes it into more like you know uh, modern, because as you know, you can hear the sound later with the with the electric electricity. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> sudah uh, apa ya dengan sendirinya menjadi pekerjaan saya ketika di Indonesia karena saya memulai apa memulai terjun untuk terjun uh, berkesenian secara total itu mulai umur 12 jadi uh, ketika umur uh, jadi sorry uh, latar belakang saya dari teater jadi Dari teater, jadi saya dulu uh, 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 biasanya membuat musik untuk mengiringi teater. Okay. Okay. Dan itu saya mulai start untuk bereksperimen. Maksudnya, karena kan biasanya teater tuh uh, mereka butuh sound-sound yang ya untuk bikin suasana. Itu yang mendorong saya. Terus akhirnya semakin itu, akhirnya dari umur 12 ke atas itu sudah saya... Jadi sampai umur ini 17 sampai 17 ke atas tuh sudah wis hidupnya di situ wis. Maksudnya ya sawahnya ladangnya di kesenian itu. Maksudnya itu. Okay. Um, he started when he was 12. Um, he was he had to make instruments because he was working for the theater. So he had to make sounds, different sounds for different scenes. So he decided to make instruments for those uh, sounds and since then that has been his uh, yeah, way of living. So he he earns a living by making these instruments. Saya saya tidak bisa. Tidak bisa. Okay, well, um the future sounds of folk basically uh, I would say it's a wrap up of the first part of the project. Because I think the first part I wanted to um, focus a little bit um, on Indonesia, and um, well, we are wrapping it up um, with this four concert presentation here in uh, the Netherlands, and um, we intend to release a, a CD together with a DVD of the live concerts as well as a, a book, eventually. Um, so that will be the immediate kind of closure to this um, first chapter, you would say, of the project. And um, I really, at this point of time, have got no clue what's going to happen after that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys stay here. I need a stick oh. to Okay.